All right, now many Samsung Galaxy phone users cry about the battery performance on their device. Sometimes, yes, there will be some issues with the device and we get poor battery performance or battery life. But many a times we fail to understand or we don't even explore what is causing the poor battery performance on the device. We just keep complaining about it without putting any efforts to know what is happening with the device and we straight away go to the service center to get the battery life checked. Now, in this video, I would like to share a couple of important tips for you guys to understand understand what could be causing the battery performance issues and what you need to do to figure out what is causing the issue and try to sort it out yourself before heading to the service center or before complaining about it on social media. So let's dive in. Now whenever you notice some abnormal battery drain on your device, the first thing you need to do is go to the settings and tap on battery. And here, check the battery statistics. To check that, all you need to do is tap on this graph here. This is where you will see the battery consumption by each application. Now here, you will be able to know which application is consuming maximum amount of battery. Now if there is any application which is running in the background, drinking all the juice on the phone, then that will show up right here on the top. The phone will be able to figure out which application is causing that issue and it will show up on this list. And all you need to do is just tap on that particular application and check further statistics about the battery consumption. You see, it says since last charge, the total usage time is 30 minutes, screen on time is 30 minutes, background usage is zero minutes, system resource usage, wake up zero times, wake clock zero times, CPU three minutes, wireless communication, mobile data, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth scanning. So all this battery consumption data pertaining to a specific application will be available right here. This will let you know if that application is consuming abnormal battery, if it is running in the background, consuming a lot of resources, all that you will be able to figure out on this particular menu. So make sure you check this. If there is any application which is running abnormally in the background or causing any issues on the phone, make sure to disable it. And if that application is very important for you and if you cannot live without it, then uh, just put it into deep sleep mode and use it whenever you need it. Or you can also restrict the background usage limits. To do that, tap on the application. You see we have got this toggle here, background usage limits. Sleeping applications will run in the background only occasionally. Updates and notifications may be delayed. Deep sleeping applications will never run in the background and may not receive updates or notifications. They'll only work when you open them. So just enable this toggle, put the app in sleep mode and the background usage will be limited. So that is the first thing you need to do. Now the second thing that you can do is open GoodLock application. Here, you will find an app called Nice Catch. That is under a life up section. You will see Nice Catch here. Now what this does is this will look into the causes of unexplained actions such as vibrations or the screen turning on. Now sometimes the phone screen might keep turning on without any reason and that might also cause some battery issues that could be caused by any applications in the background or anything. So what you need to do is just open nice cap catch application and here you can check the sound history, vibration history, ring mode history, call mode history, media volume muted history toast history, detect commercials, and screen wake up history. Now when you tap on this, you will get to know what is causing that screen wake up here. Now I do not have any applications which is causing screen wake up here. This is all the Android system and some notifications like reminder, system UI, Samsung health and all that. But if there is any abnormal activity which is causing the screen wake up, then you will be able to see that history here and then figure out which application is causing it, which is draining the battery by turning on the screen and then just uninstall that app or put it to deep sleep. And you can also check the settings change history, accessibility settings change history, notification blocked history and mute history. This will also help you to understand what has changed in the recent and passed on your device. So make sure to check the screen wake up history on your device. That is something you need to do. Next, the software updates. Now we get monthly security patches if it is the latest device and uh, if it is an old device, at least quarterly or biannually, Samsung will be pushing the updates and we need to make sure the device is up to date. I know a lot of us are worried about the green line issues, but that doesn't mean that we do not update the device at all. We need to keep the device up to date Whenever the update is available, go ahead and update your device. Not everybody is getting the green line issues. I can understand it's a major issue, but not everybody is facing it. Maybe about one or two percent of the users are facing that green line issues and Samsung A is providing screen replacements for the latest devices. Uh, and especially if it is under warranty, obviously you can claim the uh, warranty there. But if it is a very old device and if you get unlucky after updating uh, the phone, 
then that is something which you should be worried, worried about. But otherwise, updating the device is a must. First thing it's going to do is it will keep the phone safe and secure. And the second thing it is going to do is fix the bugs and improve the battery performance. So to do that, all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on software update and tap on download and install. Whenever the update is available, I keep you guys posted every month on the latest Galaxy phones. Just make sure to update your device. And after this, you will also have to go to the security and uh, privacy settings and tap on updates here and tap on Google Play system update and make sure the phone is up to date. You need to update the Google Play system update as well. That will also keep the phone secure and safe. And it might also fix some bugs caused by the Play Store or any other uh, Google applications or anything. So just make sure you have updated the security patch as well as Google Play system update. Now, after doing all this, if you're still not able to find out the root cause for your battery drain, the best option left is to reset your phone. Now, you don't have to do a full factory reset. You can uh, we get multiple different uh, reset options. Let me show you that. Let's go to the settings, tap on general, general management and tap on reset. Now here, we get different reset options as you can see. Reset all settings, reset mobile network settings, reset Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings, reset accessibility settings, and factory data reset. Now before going for factory data reset, we can try these resets once. This might help us in resetting the device, the basic system settings and other things, and it might be able to help improve the battery performance on the device, but if it is not doing it, you can go ahead and back up your data first. Now temporary cloud backup is available up to 30 days the entire phone's data including your gallery can be backed up on the Samsung cloud for 30 days which is a great feature offered by Samsung so make sure you back up your phone and if you want to back up on an external device you can do that as well the external storage backup option is there backup data to USB storage device or SD card restore later on this device or another device using smart switch so using smart switch we will be able to back up and restore the data using an external USB storage device. So once you back up, go for factory data reset. Now this is the best reliable option to get back your battery performance on your device before heading to a service center. So generally, if you go to the service center, they will also perform the same things. They will make sure the phone is up to date. They will factory reset your device and then the battery performance will improve. And you will think that they have done something great on your device because of which the battery performance has improved. But these are some basic things. If you do, your battery performance will definitely improve on your Galaxy phones or for that matter, any other Android phones. So go ahead, perform a factory reset. I'm sure a lot of pro users would already know it. But if you do not know this, I think you should go ahead and do a factory reset on your device. So these are some tips I wanted to share with you guys, especially for those of you who are facing the battery drain issues on your Galaxy phones. If you have any other additional tips, do drop it in the comment section. And while you do that, hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. I share a lot of videos about the all new updates, tips and tricks videos for your Android phones, application updates, and the One UI features and updates. So if you want to stay updated with your Galaxy phones or other Android phones, be sure you hit the subscribe button and become a part of this growing community. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.